hello everyone welcome to sinel's class today we are going to be making dried peppered prawns so these are the things we need for it for the prawn sauce we need our dried pepper we need our granite oil we need onion lots of onion we need the dried prawns ginger salt and seasoning cubes these are the things we're going to be using it's simple it goes well with beans when you want to eat white beans you can use the sauce on beans it's really delicious okay let's get started the first thing we're going to do is to blend our onion blend it smooth then continue i'm going to blend my onion now and show you what it's going to look like when i'm done blending now this is what my onion looks like after blending i'm also going to be blending the pepper but as you can see i'm blending them separately i'm just going to blend this in the wet blender you can use dry pepper if you don't have this but this is the pepper that i recommend for this particular sauce you can see it inside here i added a bit of water to blend so i'm just going to blend it right now now this is what the pepper looks like after blending so we're going to move on to frying of our sauce right now the first thing to do is to place a wok or any pan you're using on heat add granite oil to it so you can use olive oil but i'm using vegetable oil sorry i'm going to allow this oil get hot a bit before adding my onion to it. now the oil is all hot so i'm just going to add my onion I'm also going to be adding my pepper to it. I'm adding my prawns. I'm going to be adding my ginger, my seasoning cube, salt, then just stir it. Stir it well, then just leave this to fry on low heat. If you're using a wok on low heat, not too low, but reduce the heat so it's not too high as well. If you're using your regular pot or your regular fry pan, you can fry on high heat. The reason I'm not using high heat on my wok because my wok is very hot, so I don't want to burn my sauce. I'm adding a bit of crayfish powder to it. It is optional, like you can add crayfish powder or not, but I'm adding to mine just to give it extra flavor. So I'm going to leave this to dry for about 10 minutes. Just allow it fry for about 10 minutes. You see what I'm talking about when it's dried enough to be removed. After leaving it for about 10 minutes, you can see it's not yet what I want. I'm still going to just increase the heat now. Then stir. Stir and leave it to fry till I get the result I want. You can see the color is changing already. I'm just going to still reduce my heat now. Please keep stirring when doing this so it won't burn because the onion and the pepper is dried so you don't want it burnt. Just keep stirring till it fries enough. I still want the color to be darker. You can see uh, still, I'm still stirring so it doesn't burn. You can see the color is getting darker. So at this point, just keep stirring. You can see, this is how I want it to be. So this is where I'm going to stop. Imagine serving this with our coconut beans. It is yum. So that's it. Go and enjoy. I'm going to enjoy this myself. All right, see you next time in our next class. Bye.